I'm calling this exhibition that's coming at the Wilson Street Gallery Waterways because my concern in this exhibition is basically the way water interacts with its environment. I am very much drawn to the river that I live next to right now. I, I moved to live in the Hunter Valley and I'm, I'm just across the, the, the road, it's not even a road, a path from the river. And I've developed this relationship with this river over the last few years that has really permeated my whole existence. It becomes like I got politically involved and uh, aesthetically involved. And I'm depending on this river for my well-being and my inspiration. And then there is the way I respond to the outback and the desert, which has been monumental in my life in Australia. And, uh, and over there, I'm always attracted to these dry creeks. And there are times there is puddles there. Water is something that really doesn't have a form, doesn't have color. It gets all its aesthetic qualities from the environment around it, or either the light or the wind, or the stuff that is reflected, or the things that you see under. Uh, and then you have this desert that you, you cannot tame. And there are these forces that go there also, and they just make me a very humble person. So I thought, well, I, I'll try to come up with a sequences of canvases that will depict a journey, a journey through a river or through the desert that waters has, water has made the mark there. A, a concept of a journey has been something in my mind, in the back of my mind, when I worked on few bodies of work, a few exhibitions, but I never really set and did a journey. I mean, there was always this underlying a concept of movement. If it was a movement of a stick or a movement of a, a shadow, or a story, almost like a storyboard, but I never really uh, executed a journey. This, this is the first, the first one, and I, I hope it gives the audience a sense of a journey. I'm saying now, yes, I called it an history, or I called it Fata Morgana. Fata Morgana is a, a mirage. So I, I do hope that when somebody else watched the canvases that I made, uh, they do get a sense of a journey. But for me, it was a journey. It was a journey not just down the river or across the desert. It was a journey through color changes. It was more like an aesthetic journey. To create the, the canvases, technically, was a painful exercise. Because I first I wanted each canvas to stay by itself, to... to to be an individual canvas, and then I wanted them to relate to the next one. And then I wanted these subtleties of light and subtleties of reflections and the, the, the wind that goes through the... And for, for this, I needed to, to work with the paint in a way that I never did before. And there was this layering... I always layered oil paint and tempera, but this time it, the layering had to be in a very, very delicate way. And, and, and then I have the, the, the restriction of the gallery, which is not very large. And I thought it would be interesting to go around the corner with the canvases so we can hang them in such a way that you walk, you have to face one way for four canvases, and then another four canvases, you face the other way. So you do get the sense of a journey, and you'll have to go across a corner, back and forth, to get the sense of this painting. One of the things that I try to do in this show is have my respond to the vastness of the, of, of the landscape, the Australian landscape, and then my, my preoccupation with the fragment, fragmented landscape. So yeah, there are two aspects of this, the micro and the macro. There is this look down at, at the 
patch of water that something much larger is reflected in it. And by this I can combine my two interests that is the, 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 the hugeness of the landscape and this microscopic look on a pebble or a stick. Mm -hmm.